computing complex numbers is just like simplifying polynomials. i is a number, i is square root of negative 1, but we can just treat it like a variable. So in this first example, uh, we have 1 minus 3i, and we are adding twice of 4 plus 5i. So we can distribute 2 times 4 and 2 times 5i. So 2 times 4 equals 8, and 2 times 5 is 10, so plus 10i. And we combine just like terms. So here we have uh, numbers 1 plus 8. They sum up to 9. And here we have negative 3i plus 10i. So negative 3 plus 10 is 7. So we have plus 7i. Okay, let's look at the second example. 4 plus 5i. And we are subtracting 5 plus i. Now we can distribute the negative sign and get minus 5 and minus i. Then 4 minus 5 is negative 1. 5i minus i is plus 4i. Okay, here is another example. If we have a negative number in the radical, it is an imaginary number. So we can pull the negative sign out of the, out of the radical. And here is how you do it. So nine, negative 9 is 9 times negative 1. And if you separate them out, we have square root of 9 times square root of negative 1. Square root of 9 is 3, square root of negative 1 is i, so this is 3i. Just like that, if we um, pull the negative sign out, we have square root of 4 times i. Be careful here, you don't want to put i inside, this is wrong you have to actually put i out of the radical sign. Now this is 2i, so we have 3i plus 2i, which is 5i. 